you welcome back once again for this final part of this tutorial series on creating Postgres database on cloud, on render, digital ocean, or planet scale, or any of the um, hosting cloud platform out there that provides you um, this database service. Um, so in the past couple of tutorials, we created the database on render, we uh, got our connection string, and we tried to sync that to our Node.js server. So uh, in this last part of the series, I will be creating um, a basic model of post, and, and then um, we'll use the model with SQLite to make some, um, to, to create some data into our database and read those data also from our database. And that is basically all what we'll be doing. And so let's go into it. Uh, so um, the next, the first thing I need to do here from SQLite, I need to import uh, my data type. Um, I am when creating my model I need to um, tell the data type of um, all the field variables on the SQLite uh, model schema so uh, I want to create uh, um, a post I want to create a post I can call it uh, const post and then that will be um, that will be of uh, my SQLize, which is um, the connector which I'm having here. SQLize, I want to define that and then the name of my table. This is the name of the table, which is what I'm having here. The name will be post, and then uh, within this um, um, curly braces, which is where I'll, where I will define um, all my rows and my columns in here. So um, for the post, I'll have a title, and the title uh, will be of data type of string. And whenever um, the user is trying to create a post, then I don't want um, I, the title uh, should not be null. So um, that is I uh, have to allow null or false there. And then I have a post body uh, of a post content, and then um, the content is also not null and is of type um, string. And this, that's all uh, what I'll be having on my schema and. And, and SQLize will automatically um, generate the ID for me there if um, I don't want to to have that myself and uh, I don't need to I don't need to specify that okay now the next thing uh, we need to do is just uh, create uh, uh, Express uh, route handler that will fetch uh, that will create uh, that will post this data into um, into the database and I will, um, for that I need to require a middleware here of uh, Express or JSON that will enable my Express application to read um, request that body from Postman whenever I try to send a request uh, I'll need um, this middleware to to read that information so let me uh, require that here um, by bringing in this model here uh, app.use Express or JSON so this will um, provide me the, the the functionality of reading um, uh, request that body some body data uh, whenever a user send in a form um, the next thing is uh, let me create um, app post request and I will call this um, I will give this route the endpoint of create um, create post and then that will be the route and then I'll have a, an asynchronous Express uh, function here and so within this function that is where uh, I will define every of my operation of um, the create method there and I will have it within a try and catch block and and I'm getting the the title and the content from the body right and then the new post I have to await this post which is my uh, my model schema here um, let me separate this this is uh, my model schema so I'm awaiting this my post, which is um, the, my model schema here, which has created. Um, we can we can call that the entity if you're uh, trying to. You can call it an entity or or the model. So um, here, what I'm doing is once when a user make a post request to this endpoint, we are getting the title and the content from the request body, and we'll just kind of um, using the dot create method to to send in our data into um, the into the the database now this um, post dot create this this create function is um, we're getting that from our SQLize ORM so this create method 
uh, helps you do the uh, the if you if you if you're trying to do the raw SQL query that, that will be uh, insert into pose and then you put into value um, title body and then put values and all of that uh, that is what this uh, creates uh, SQLite creates method is actually doing now quickly um, uh, let's do that of the get all data um, get all posts rather I'll have this get all posts and let me close my function and within here I will do I will run the the code snippets to get um, to get the data I'll wrap that within my try catch block and we'll just await post or find also define all SQLite method fetch all of the data within our database and 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 hand, and you see that uh, being returned here. Uh, so we are using the await method because um, the this um, this uh, method uh, find all is is an asynchronous um, method. So we need to await the result, or uh, else it's uh, it will return us a promise and and we won't get to see our result. Okay, so uh, we will successfully create uh, post this time around. We we'll successfully. Uh, created uh, uh, an endpoint to get us all the posts. Uh, I'll create a REST client that will uh, that will use to test uh, API requests. Uh, you can you can test the endpoint using Postman. You can test it with uh, Insomnia or or any of the uh, web clients out there. Uh, so quickly, I will test mine with Postman and then. I'll create a new request. This will be a HTTP request, and was the. Let me restart my server once again because um, I've um, updated and written some Nico snippet, and let me copy this route. And so on my postman, I will post that address, and then let me try to get all posts first before. Uh, let me copy that once again. Okay, server is started and database is connected. Um, let me copy the get post and put it in here. And um, this is supposed to return us an empty array because we currently don't have any post yet. And once I hit on the send, we get empty array because currently we don't have any post. And this is reading it from our database, which we created and hosted on render. So now let me try to create a post. Uh, with the two uh, items uh, which we require from the body, the title and the payload. So um, let me change this to post and then um, th this should be create post and then um, within the body we we'll pass in those data there. I want to go with the raw and we we'll select JSON and within the body will have a title. Uh, title. Uh, let me call it post one, and then the content. The content is. Um, uh, let me just say, this is for test. Let me put that as my content, and let me be sure of my routes. It's create post, and it's a post request. So. Uh, now let me hit that and test uh, my endpoint. So uh, this is uh, taking some little time because we're in the free pairs. Now our post is successfully created. You can see uh, we're having um, the ID of one, which is auto generated uh, from a by a SQLize ORM. So this is the title we created, post one. This is for test, and let me create another one again. Let me just change the title. Uh, this is dash two. And uh, let me add the third one. Uh, let me create the third one. This is test three. Okay, and let me try to do a get request to see if our data is uh, being persisted within the database. So, and the endpoint is get post. So, once I hit on the get request, and we have every four posts, this is coming from the database. Now, uh, uh, if you notice, when we try to make um, uh, our request, a get request, we can see this is um, taking some little time because we are currently on the free tiers and if you try to work with the paid version then you enjoy um, some good speed. You can see right now if you check our time on our, on our tool we are, we, are, we are hitting about um, uh, 515 milliseconds which is quite slow and for this uh, few um, 
um, tables we have on our database schema so if you want to get a very good response you want something big or you want your project to be live and our advice you go for the paid version yeah but um this will actually give you everything though um just that you actually have to exercise some patience with it and the post request and the response time from your database so um, that is basically how you can um, get a test database that is hosted online sync it into your project and make all of your operation with that database and you can also try to work with this if you're if you're on the development phase of your project and you don't want to um you don't want to send in data you don't want to make requests to your uh, production database but you you need a uh, kind of a hosted database on the cloud where you can and uh, run all your tests during the development phase of your project then i believe this will be a very good uh place for you to have that and once you're done every of your tests and your development phase is completed then you can then switch over to your um, production database so that is basically it for this tutorial series thank you very much for sticking around if you have any question or you have anything to comment you can put that you can add that on the comment section below and and I'll be uh, dropping the link and uh, the GitHub uh, repo link for this course snippet should in case you want to make reference to it or uh, you want to copy that and try to replicate the same to your project or uh, improve on it so thank you very much for uh, sticking around thank you for your time and please do feel free to subscribe to this uh, channel do feel free to comment like and share the video so thank you and see you in the next um, tutorial series